Hey guys, uh, Coach Anderson here again. Um, online has been going good. I've been seeing a lot of results. I've been seeing a lot of things that's happening. Uh, this has been the first thing you've actually had to really learn um, while we've been out on this pandemic. Um, so uh, please be patient with me, but uh, I'm starting to see things that uh, a lot of people still don't understand, and that's okay. I'm hoping to uh, um, uh, help you all out with this video, uh, help relieve some of that uh, misunderstandings, and hopefully uh, this will clear up a lot of things for you. Okay, so whenever we're solving for variables, we need to identify first what we're looking for, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start with this example here. Here we are trying to find A, right? So I'm going to go ahead and circle that. Okay, that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to get it on its own, okay? Right now it's solved for F because it's on its own and it equals um, to this side of the equation, right? So F equals... A divided by B plus C. Okay, that's what it equals. Well, we want to figure out what A equals. On its own, we want to know what A is. Okay, so uh, first things first. First thing you want to do, okay, make sure you take notes. Okay, first thing you want to do is always get rid of anything that is outside uh, whatever uh, A is connected to. So right now, A is connected to B through, uh, multi through division right now. Okay, and out on its own is C. So let's go ahead and make that a quick transition and get C to the other side quick. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to subtract C from both sides. So subtract C, subtract C. So make sure that you do this. Right now it's F minus C or negative C plus F. Okay, so just go ahead, bring it down like I've showed you before, all right, and just uh, keep uh, keep it as such, okay? And then this equals A divided by B. reason why we subtract C is because we're always aiming to get this to equal to zero, all right? So right now we have A over B plus zero, but I don't need to write that, right? Okay, I need this uh, A divided by B equals F minus C. Good. What am I still trying to find? I'm still trying to get A on its own, right? Well, the next step would be to get rid of what it's connected to, which is B, right? So let's go ahead and let us get rid of B. So I'm going to use this orange one. I'm going in between markers. But I'm going to multiply times B. Multiply times B. Whenever you multiply times B, it's not just one item over here. It's the whole thing. So make sure that you put it in parentheses and you multiply it on both sides. Again, why do we multiply instead of divide? Well, B is in the denominator, so we have to multiply. All right, if it was in the numerator, then we would have to divide. Okay, so this comes out to be B, F minus C equals, well, that cancels, right? So it would be A. And we just figured out what A equals. A equals B times F minus C, all right? Which also means B, if you, you know, distribute, B, F minus B, C, okay? Either one of these is a correct answer, okay? I'll accept it. Now, let's go ahead, pause it, write everything down, and then let's go ahead and do another one, okay? What if it did this? What if F equaled A minus C all over B? Well, we have to look at this right now. Right now, A is connected to C, but it's also connected to B as well. So we have to start thinking, okay, well, C isn't out on its own anymore. So what's the one thing we can do? All right. Well, the up here, this A minus C, is actually in parentheses because this B is distributed to both of them, right? So instead of subtracting or adding anything over, we need to get this B to the other side, all right? So we multiply times B because B is in the den denominator, right? So multiply times B to both sides, okay? Which comes out to BF, because it's multiplication, 
equals a minus c. Then come around and you add c to both sides because you have to get the c out of here because we're still solving for a and it comes out to be a equals, sorry, lowercase b f plus c. There you go. Okay? So do you see the two different types that happen? Last time we uh, added or subtracted because C was all on its own. Now it was all connected. So we needed to figure out what was connecting, uh, what was the vulnerability, uh, what was on its own. In this case, B was all on its own. A was connected to C, all right? So let's go ahead and do another. Let's do a multi-step one, okay? Multi-step meaning Let's say f equals a minus or plus uh, b all over c plus uh, d. Okay? Well, let's go ahead and look at this and let's see what happens. Well, right now, is there anything that's on its own? Yeah. Right now I have this D, so let's get this moved to both, both sides, right? So it comes out to be F minus D equals A plus B over C. All right, and then after that, we got to figure out, okay, which one's mo most vulnerable? Can I move the B? No, it's kind of connected to the C. Same thing with the A, it's connected to the C. So right now, this is the next part of unlocking this puzzle. So we need to go ahead and to get rid of the C in the denominator, I have to multiply times C. Multiply times C. Which comes out to be C, remember, it's multiplied times the whole side, equals A plus B. Now I have to get rid of the B, which again, since it's adding, the B is positive, I would have to subtract the B from both sides. So therefore, after this grueling process, comes out to be C, F minus D minus B. Okay? And this would be your answer. Now you could distribute this and then um, go ahead and write the full answer, but I, that's good enough as is. Okay? This is just like a jigsaw puzzle. You're trying to take a piece out at a time so that you can get down to the very bare minimum, okay? So remember, always look for the one uh, part that is the uh, most outlying uh, variable or number, all right? And then continue on. Let me do one more for you so you can understand a little bit better. You did this one on Friday, okay? So here is what you do, all right? So... This one was P equals 2L plus 2W. I had some people that were, that were confused about it, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about it, okay? So here, first thing, I want you to solve for L, okay? Right now, i got 2L plus 2W. This is what I want to solve for, okay? Is there anything that is not, I repeat, not connected to it, an outlier? Well, right now, 2 is connected. This 2w is also connected, but it is an outlier right now, right? So I would want to get rid of this 2w and subtract 2w from both sides. All right, which comes out to be p minus 2w equals 2l. And then I want to go ahead and get l on its own, right? I still want to get l on its own. So I have to get rid of that too which is the next part of completing the puzzle, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of the two. Since it is in the numerator, I want to divide by two on both sides. Remember, it's from the whole side, right? So you go ahead and do that. And it comes out to be L equals P minus two W all over two. All right. There you go.
okay? Um, I want you to reply in the comments section about what you learned, uh, what helped you, and any question, and one question that you uh, uh, still have problems with, all right? Have a good one, and uh, keep watching, and keep learning, all right? See ya.